Okay, we're here with uh, Lincoln Southwest defensive coordinator Grant Trainowitz. Coach, uh, first of all, you guys had a great season last year. Um, city champions, had some of your best wins as a program in a number of years, and you, you tussled with Westside for almost three quarters before it kind of broke open. Speak on the year of the program that Southwest had. Yeah, so we had uh, a lot of experienced guys coming back, guys that started multiple years. We had a multiple-year start at quarterback, running back, uh, linebacker. So. A lot of guys would play Class A football before, and it showed. Um, and another thing about last year is our seniors were tremendous leaders. Uh, they were uncommon leaders, and that steered the ship for us, kept us on track, helped us battle through adversity. Like in, uh, I think it was our fourth game, we lost uh, both of our inside linebacks in the same game, multi-year multi starter guys. So uh, we were able to rally around that. And uh, a lot of unselfish guys in that senior class, some guys that made some position switches to help our team experience more success. And after those two injuries to the linebackers, we had some of the senior guys willing to learn a brand new position midway through the year to help us out. Uh, but like you said, you know, we're, we're city champs. Uh, we got a lot of nice wins against some really talented teams and programs. Hosted a playoff for the first game in a while. Um, avenged a loss that we had in the regular season. And, and yeah, we were leading the uh, eventual state champs at halftime. So a uh, really nice year from uh, uh, Record-wise, but it was also really gratifying to see how much progress our guys made and, and developed as football players and as people as the year went on. Well, and now you're kind of reloading with young talent coming up and your sophomore class that will be juniors, the 2025 group, a lot of talent, um, starting first with Jackson Carpenter, uh, son of a former Husker, uh, picked up his first Division One offer. But, man, what an explosive kid, 37-inch vertical at 6'2". Um, what really jumped out about Jackson's sophomore season? Yeah, so Jackson's a guy who actually uh, uh, was on varsity as a freshman, too, which is uh, really unheard of at Southwest and in Class A. Um, Jackson's ball skills just really pop, um, and that became evident during 7-on-7. Seven seven. You know, he's going up, he's mossing guys, which it's easy to do in 7-on-7, seven seven, right? There's no pass rush, there's no pads, but, but he did it during the season, too. And uh, you put on his highlight tape, and you can see him doing the same thing, just going up over guys and getting the football. Um, you know, a lot of times people say a fade ball, it's a 50-50 ball, which really it's not. It's about a mid-20 to 25% throw. But with Jackson, it, it's actually a 50-50 it's a ball. You know, he can go up and get that thing. Um, so coaches love his ball skills. Uh, tremendous athlete. He's a, he's a three-sport guy. So I know all the coaches that come in, they love that because they, they know he likes to compete. Um, played mostly offense last year, but this year he's going to, you know, play a little bit of defense too, you know, with those skills, put him in the middle of the field and let him go get a ball that's thrown up over the middle. So, yeah, he's, he's going to take a big jump junior year. Um, you know, it was fun just getting out there and playing with the team and um, looking forward to next year. Um, yeah, I'm just excited. It was fun. You got your first scholarship offer from Northern Iowa after going to the Warren Academy deal. What really um, jumped out? Like, what did they say? Like, what, what do they like about you? Kind of what led to the first offer? Well, you know, I'm a, I'm a big frame. Uh, I have a pretty high vertical, so quarterbacks feel comfortable throwing a 50-50 ball to me. So that's what they said, kind of. And I'll be excited to get down to a game this year. And, and you're, is most people saying wide receiver right now with you? Yeah, wide receiver. But I haven't really – there's no film really for safety. But that might come up this next year. I'll play this next year. And then Cole Erickson, another um, 2025 guy that, you know, has Division One pedigree with his mom and dad from Texas Tech. Um, clearly a guy that, you know, I think is on that path to, to be a D1 guy for you. Absolutely, yeah. And Cole's a guy who has really come a long way. You know, his freshman year, he was a quarterback and an outside linebacker. And this year he played uh, defensive end for us. He played tight end, and he really uh, grew into his body. He didn't start. Uh, at the beginning of the year for us by I think about game four or five he was starting on the defensive line and, and we've had some guys come through our program at that spot that have gone on to play division one football high division two football and and to compare them all to sophomores Cole's ahead of all those guys so he's got a really great future ahead of him. Yeah, I think for him it's just getting his name out in front of people because once you see him and look at the whole picture there <laughs> there's a lot there. Absolutely and he's a guy you know he's so unselfish he, he played tight end for us last year and due to some team needs this year he's actually going to uh, kick over the offensive line and he could be a hell of a prospect at O-line too. I didn't start right away but I took over like second third game of the year and then had the opportunity to help play D end, pass rush, and run stop a little bit. 
What um, I mean, where do you see yourself in, at the next level? Because it seems like your body has grown a lot the last yep. couple of years. I mean, I see you wrote down O line. I mean, do you think you could get that big someday, or do you yep. kind of see yourself more as an edge guy on defense? I see myself getting bigger. Our team this year, we a lot of seniors last year, so might have to step up to play tackle O line this year and play a different role than last year. Now, your dad and mom both played at Texas Tech. Um, your mom was a volleyball player. Your dad was a football player there. Um, just what have they kind of taught you about playing sports at the highest level? It's all about just being consistent. You got to show up every day and can't skip days.